Hi Leo, the details to this reading are located in the description box, but be sure to only take what resonates, leave what does not resonate for someone else. At the end of the reading, I will be pulling cards for their sign, the sign you are dealing with. We're just going to see what wants to come out, Leo. What is the message for Leo? Okay, someone heartbroken over you, Four of Cups. Oddly enough, it looks like this person rejected you, or they didn't see what they had when they had it. Oh, and then we have the Knight of Swords. Somebody didn't take a chance when they had the chance to take, and then the Chariot. So there's a lot of regret here with this Three of Swords, okay? Four of Cups. Somebody didn't take a chance when they had the time or when they had the opportunity to take a chance. They didn't say what they needed to say. They didn't go after you. As a matter of fact, the situation, Three of Swords, Four of Cups, this person either rejected you or showed no interest in you. They could have been ignoring you. How do they, okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. There's somebody here that either rejected you or did not take a chance and tell you how they were truly feeling in the past. Okay, they're wondering if you've moved on, Leo. How do they see Leo right now? How do they view you? Spirit, how do they view Leo? Four of Swords, okay. That you've taken a step back. All right, they, they think a lot about you, Leo, and they, th they think a lot about this. They see you as, you know, held back. How they feel the Knight of Cups. They feel like you were just so beautiful, okay, or handsome. They, This is someone who wants to pursue you. Okay, they have romantic feelings for you. They think positively about you. Uh, it, it looks like you have someone who... I, I feel like you're someone who has a lot of respect for themselves or you come across that way, right? The Queen of Swords, the Sun. They think very positively of you and, you know, that you are intelligent and just beautiful. They feel like you are stunning. And it looks like they want to have a conversation with you, Leo. Okay, could be a Gemini for some of you. And then we have the King of Swords. So some of you guys may feel like this person has another option. And so you're detaching. But you see them as the lovers. So, I mean, you have feelings for somebody, but I feel like you're trying to cut them off. Or you feel as if it's in your best interest to detach. Let's see, what are their next actions towards Leo? Just a lot of thinking, okay? They're very, they're in deep thought about you. There's a fear here that you would reject them because they rejected you, that you would ignore them. Some of you guys may be ignoring this person, but it's like, I feel like this person wants to pursue you, but there's this fear of it being a disaster if they do. What do they like about Leo? Ten of Pentacles. They like the fact that you seem like you're someone that they could build a life that they're proud of. You, like I said, you have a lot of respect and integrity for yourself. And this is someone here. What they like about you is you're, you're someone to commit to, okay? You're the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, in their eyes. Ten of Wands. 
you're hard to get, okay, is what I'm getting, like, you're the prize. Is the Ten of Pentacles is like, you are the prize that they want to win. Ten of Wands, you're hard to get. We have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They're hoping that the feelings they share, that they're hoping that the feelings they have for you, Leo, are mutual. But there's this, the Seven of, of Pentacles being their next actions. Like, I do see this person potentially coming through to show signs of wanting to invest in a situation. But the Two of Swords, the Tower, there is a fear of this going south. There's a fear of this going wrong for them. What's Leo's advice? What is Leo's advice in this situation? Five, don't play games. Five, don't play their games. If they're playing any games, Page of Wands, Five of Swords, Eight of Swords. So I do see this person eventually messaging you, but your guides are not wanting you to partake in any sort of like manipulation or any mind games. Like if this person can't be upfront from the get go, I feel like that's a, that's a big red flag. And I'm also getting like, Don't allow this person to get anything past you with the Five of Swords, Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, okay? Make sure you're seeing things clearly. I do see this person communicating with you, but your guides are not wanting you to let anything get past you. You know, this is an energy of speaking up. Like, this is an energy of needing to say what's on your mind. And if you see red flags in a situation, don't be afraid to point them out to this person because it does look like they're coming back to persuade you. Okay. This is someone who wants to persuade you to start things back up with them. So if they're coming through to persuade you to start things back up with them, Leo, don't be afraid to call them out when need be. What do they want to say to Leo? What do they want to say to Leo right now? Okay. They feel like you're leaving them behind. All right. And, and that's another, and like, I feel like that's what's causing this person to have this fire lit under them. Okay. There, there's some type of energy here of them wanting to win you over at all costs. Okay, because you're the prize, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. This tells me, like, they may feel as if there could be potentially be competition. Um, there could be potentially someone else coming into the picture. It says they're recovering, and it was their fault, but they may have blamed you. They wish things could be different. So I'm not quite sure what they're recovering from, but for a lot of you guys, this person is just trying to become a better version of themselves. And if they were, if they blamed you for anything in the past or made you feel as if something was your fault, it wasn't your fault. Let's see, we're going to do all signs, Aries through Pisces. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Luna, are you okay, baby? What you doing? Luna, what you doing, baby? Luna gets really vocal when she's playing. All right, let's see. Aries through Pisces for Leo. Luna. Okay. All right. If you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries, you're a wish to them. The Aries wants to be wherever you are. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they want to communicate. I do see communication coming in from a Taurus. 
If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're closed off. This Gemini is having a difficult time making a decision. If you're dealing with a Cancer, this Cancer misses you. Okay, they still want to give to the situation. If you're dealing with a Leo, another Leo, they want to work things out. Hi, Luna. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is non-committal. If you're dealing with a Libra, they have strong romantic feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're stuck on you, okay? They're waiting for things to pick back up again between you two. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, there's a strong attraction the Sagittarius has for you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they want to be with you, Ten of Cups. They're in love with you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius is focused on their personal development and growth at this time. If you're dealing with a Pisces, uh, Ten of Swords. There could have been a betrayal here. Let's see. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This Pisces, I I'm getting a Pisces that could have betrayed you. The Pisces will betray you again. All right, Leo, those are your messages. If this gave you some clarity, thank you guys so much for hitting that thumbs up button. I do appreciate all your support. And until next time, bye.